Welcome back, everybody. We are playing more Okami. Bark, bark, bark. Please tell me the bark ability does something eventually. Yes, it does. That's so cool. Yes, you will see what it does very soon. All right. So, this this game, uh, I remember it very vividly because this is the game that we used to play uh, at one of my old friend's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my old friends' house back in uh, high school. Uh, oh, actually, it was a little bit after high school because this game came out that time. Uh, and we used to go back to his house and we'd play it on his, like, like six-inch monitor or <laughs> six-inch TV. Yeah. It was just a tiny TV, let's be honest. And uh, we would play it and it was so much fun because we enjoyed it a lot. But there was this one guy that we used to play with all the time. Yeah. Who, like... <clears throat> hey, don't forget to save. Oh yeah, good call. Uh, his his family used to tell us one thing, but he used to always say another thing, and uh, I I I don't know which which is which is which. Okay. But uh, because this game is obviously very Japanese, right? In the way that it's being portrayed. Yeah. He used to say that he was always half Japanese. Okay. And he was that guy in the group who would always be like, Oh, yeah, I know about that. Oh, yeah, I know about that. Uh, like, there was never anything he did not know. And so I remember when we were playing this game, one time me and my friend got very fed up with him. And we're like, Oh, yeah, so what's supposed to happen next if this is based off of Japanese lore? And he's like, Oh, I, didn't want, I don't want to give it away for you. I, wa I want you guys to find this out on your own. It's like, yep. Okay, buddy. <laughs> I love the artistic direction of this, but that, yeah. that, that could just be, like, my inner, like, well, weeb. It's also really interesting, too, like, so this area uh -huh. is almost like a more realistic palette, mm -hmm. whereas, like, some of the other areas we were, were kind of, like, exaggerated and brighter and stuff like that. Yeah, especially since it was, like, because you were in, like, a divine world. Yeah. Sakuya came through big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I could have spent some more time in her kimono. If you know what I mean. Wow. <laughs> but seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go how let's go and see how they're doing. Um But so this game uh was the creation of a lot what? of Weird jokes that we had. What the heck? Oh, it's a guy with the the, the shiru haku flute and uh, the traveling monk hat. Yeah, I don't remember there being a statue here, but whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. This is a villager. Uh, but there was there. Was, this game came around the time when we started watching some um, more risque things because we were becoming adults. Ooh. And uh, this one, this one friend of ours bought a hentai, and brought it over, and we watched it, and there was this face that we saw while watching the hentai, where like, like one of the Japanese guys was like, trying to hook up with a girl in it, you know? Right, right. Like you do in a hentai, and he was like, <laughs> like Jesus. he had this look on his face, and we dubbed it the demon rape face. Yeah. And so. For whatever fucking reason, whenever we saw like a really, really attractive girl, like one of us would just be like, <laughs> <laughs> "It was, it was the dumbest thing in the world." But I remember we all can like that was it. That was the thing because we used to go to Anime Expo every year as a group, right? And uh, when we would sit there, like when we were walking around, we always had a a, 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 a hotel room, and so like. <laughs> It'd be like eight dudes in one hotel oh, room God. with two beds, and we would always fight over who got the bed, and it was the weirdest thing ever. And uh, we just remember, like, we would go to like we go sit out by the pool, where we would you know buy some drinks, right? And we'd sit out there and we'd have drinks with each other, and uh... nope, and. Uh... <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? This is no time to be goofing off. And we would sit out there and we'd see like some 
pretty attractive ladies come out and they'd sit at the poolside and or they'd go swimming and every single time without fail someone would always find somebody really attractive. Uh Good lord this game. Reminds me of a lot of the fun times. This is also I think uh I think this is also the game that um cost me one of my friendships. Oh Jesus. Uh, it was it was interesting. Uh, so we went to Expo uh, and we came back and there was this guy and he like fell madly in love with this girl. Okay. Like madly in love with her. Uh oh. And as a group we were like, dude, just ask her out. Like call her up. She gave you her number. She gave you her number. And obviously that means she wants to talk to you. So why don't you just call her? And he's like, no, I gotta think of like. An interesting way of doing this, or whatever, and uh, I don't. Whoa! This is not one of those smaller monsters that are lurking around. We're like, that's got to be something bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. And uh, I remember that back in the day, we um, we we were trying to get him to uh, you know like to the girl right and I remember one night we all got a little too drunk uh oh and I was like dude you need to talk to her and he's like no I'm never gonna talk to her I'm never gonna talk to her and I'm like dude then why the f do you have her number why don't you just delete it then and he's like well, we, uh, I might talk to her one day and I'm like dude come on and eventually I got fed up with his you know milk toast bullshit and uh, I like <laughs> grabbed his phone and I started looking through his uh, address book to call this girl. Little did I remember, I had never asked her for her name. So I didn't <laughs> know her name, so I didn't know who to call. And he lost his sh his in mine. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it was like, it, it was like, I never got, I never called her, but I gave him back his phone and it was like six months until he ever talked to me again. Oh, wow. And even then, it was like, it wasn't like amicable at all. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I know. I mean, I realize what I did was kind of messed up, but at well, the same time, it's like. I mean, ultimately, the end, though, you're you were just trying to help your friend. Yeah, I, like, I was trying to give him that push. No one's moving. Everyone here was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on around here. The village back, but what's up with the dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside. The village too. Let's find some high ground. See if we can't make take a look. Oh, it's gonna make me go back up to the. Yep, to that vantage point that you had. Yep. Yeah, I was trying to do him good, but you know, I guess I got a little too aggressive with him. But yeah, I can I can kind of understand that. Yeah. Both I had sides. a I had a similar situation with a friend uh -huh. uh, back in high. Uh, no, it was actually I think it was junior high. Um. Mm -hmm. That where they they were you know they're pining after a particular girl and it's a very similar situation like she'd given them their number and like I was trying to convince them and eventually I did convince him uh -huh. that uh, that um, the call to to finally talk to her and whatnot uh huh uh, I mean sadly it did not work out for him yeah I but, mean it doesn't but work he out. felt way better about having actually talk to them about it uh -huh. than not having talked about it. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I always feel like it's better to, um, like, like, talk to your romantic interests and, like, get to know them, or at least get to know your position with them. Yeah. Instead of always being, like, and this is gonna sound real mean, being, like, the creeper dude who kind of sits in the back and stares at them without right. ever trying, because, like, you, what, what, what's that saying? Not every time you try will be a success, but if you never try, you'll never succeed, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. Hey. That is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is a sun, man. Come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. Isn't that the name of the sun god? I don't know. I'm like ten different gods, I guess. So it follow that you have the sunrise technique from the start. Oh! With it, you could even turn night into day. Oh, dang! Oh, dip. Wow, you're no run-of-the-mill god, that's for sure. Wait, what? 
The flowing brush is like music from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. <laughs> he felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape and color. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we let you name your brushwork after that poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. Thanks for naming my shit, yo. Yeah, you're such a great artist. Let me name something after what my grandfather said so that way my family gets credit. Right? Well, I mean, let's go back to the village. We gotta see if the villagers are normal now. Oh, God. Hey, who are you? Bark, bark. What? Mr. Orange. Oh, wait, whoa. Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi. It couldn't possibly be the legendary Shirinui. No, it can't be. My beard is enormous. That star is a hundred years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shirinui. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Fuck. Damn, man. Whoa, 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 no need to growl like that. Can you, can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words, but I just state facts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was strange. That was weird. Huh? What's this sudden chill down my spine? Let me rub my orange to heat me up. Those are the monsters that have been plaguing these lands. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, Furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Denkumaru. That's not gonna happen. Like how you throw the old man yeah. away. Well, he's in danger. Gotta yeah. get him out of here. But yeah, like, one of the biggest things that I always feel is, like, if you like somebody, especially Oops. if, like, you are, um, like, I don't know how to put this, but, uh, for lack of a better word, if you're shy, like, it'll always hurt worse to never say anything. Right. Than to just, like, own up for, like, ten seconds and be like, hey, uh, I like you. Or being just like, hey, I'd like to get a cup of coffee or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and it's honestly one of those things where it's like, man, you don't know, and especially in like junior high and high school. Yeah, like it's a definitely a scenario of like, you need to to kind of go through those trial and tribulations to kind of grow and, and become an adult. Yeah, like obviously there there are levels of like learning and growth that come with it, like being able to take rejection, being able to you know. Have the, the 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 ability to kind of walk up to a person and tell them that you like them, because that takes a lot out of a person. Right. But, yeah. You know, it's like at least then it's like you can move on healthily, yeah. healthily, healthily, in a more healthy way. In a more healthy way. Thank you. Uh, instead of you know pining on them forever and then giving up and then all of a sudden like you know five ten years down the line they show up again in your life again you're just like uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, because I've, I've seen that happen with a few people. Uh, I know I know some some guys that, you know, I don't necessarily hang out with them anymore, but they suffer from that. And, and it's rough. It's really rough. So if anybody who's listening to this and you got someone that you're sweet on, you know, go out and say, say it. You may not get the response that you necessarily want, but, you know, at least you'll know where you stand or you'll even have a chance. But don't go up to them and just be like, I love you. Yeah. Like, ask them out for coffee. Coffee's a great one. Or like my friend says, uh, mini golf is like the ultimate first date. Yeah. Yeah. I've taken a, a couple girls out on mini golf as first dates. Yeah, it, it's, it's a good place to go. Like, you get to both play something, you're outside, you're comfortable because there's other people around, right. you know? And you're, you're doing something active, and you can talk, and then, you know, if you really feel engaged enough or comfortable enough, you can smack talk the other person. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about you, man, but, man, I am terrible at planning dates. <laughs> like, I am so bad at it. 
I am bad at dates, but I am like I, I feel like I'm pretty good at romance. All right, look, open up. Oh. Uh, you obtain a spirit globe. Humanity's faith has made solid. Um. All right. So you see those black trees with the little uh, sacred parchment on them? Yeah. Uh, use the power slash on it. Okay. If I remember correctly, this will do something cool. Or not. Uh, maybe just, you have to cut the the parchment. Do I have to cut all of them, maybe. I don't know, that might be it. You know what? That might be it. I don't know if so. I can get all of them in a single stroke, though. Uh, they well, seem to regenerate uh, pretty fast. Oops. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's like a straight line, right? Yeah. No? Huh. I, f I remember that something happened if you, like, cut those black trees, but I could be wrong. that could be something you do later on. Maybe. Do you do you come back to these areas later on? Yeah, yeah. You 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 come back constantly throughout the thing, but yeah, like see right here, you can get all four. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, that's good. No, nope. no. Nope. Oh well, another time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just um, never give up, never Oops. surrender. Oh, yeah. And we will see you in the next episode, everyone. Bye. Bye.